So if you don't have work, you're gonna come over. I'm Rachel, I'm 16, and I'm eight months pregnant. I'll probably go to Braden's and sleep on his couch. Okay, ditch me. This is true, my ex and my baby's father. At least, that's what I think. Because I've been on and off with him and his best friend Jacob, Drew isn't convinced that the baby is his and hasn't even been there for me at all. She doesn't feel too big. When I first found out I was pregnant, I had hoped Jacob was the father. We thought she could have been Jacob's because they kept on changing my conception date and all that. And it's still only a week or two apart from each other. But that's what kills Jacob. Like, I've told him, I'm like, I'm sorry that I even led you on to think you had a possibility, but she's not yours. Jacob can't stand the fact that I'm having a kid with his best friend, and he just doesn't want to get attached. He's had me blocked for almost a month now, and I don't think he's coming back. I hope that once the baby is born, Drew will step up. But it's not looking good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold each push for a count of 10, and we'll do three pushes with each contraction. All right, so we're gonna roll you back on your back. Somebody, yeah. Oh, God, I'm not ready. Hold mama's hand. No, I do not want you to touch me. Okay. Can you get your hold over here on your back? Hold those legs back on your oh, chest. Oh no, I can Big feel the contraction. Oh, Rachel, 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 listen to Rachel, me, listen to me. Right. We're gonna make it feel better. Big breath in. Push, 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 and good. I can't breathe. Okay. Deep breath. Oh, I don't know why she won't come out. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Come on. Grab her. Top of Rachel. Oh, there you go. Rachel. 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 I'm still annoyed with Jacob, but he asked me to meet up with him at the lake today so we can all hang out. Now that we're here, I'm realizing it's too hot for Hazley to be outside. So I need to keep her in a car that has air conditioning. And I'm starting to get upset that Jacob hasn't even come over. We were all supposed to be fishing and swimming together and stuff, but Jacob won't help me with the baby. And they're all just out there having fun and it really makes me mad that nobody will even come over here and check on me and the baby. It's frustrating that Jacob is still acting this way, and I think I've had enough. I can't. It's too hot for her. I can't even get the out. Except to walk over to another damn car. Can we leave now? Yeah. I just want to go home and just get that mother out of my life. I mean, he sat over there and had a great time without me. that, dude. All of his is going in the yard. No. Mom. It's too hot out there. No, it's not. Let me no, see. You. Just get the f off me. Rachel, just let me see my kid. No. Yeah. You just no. want everything to be about you, dude. F you. Mmm. Get the f away from me, dude. You're a piece of. F Where the f am I dropping you off at? I'm going with him. Because you're single, and I'll make sure you're f out in the yard too, mother. F All right. If you stay here, we're done, and I'm not playing. You're dumb, dude. Bad, dude. I swear to God. All your going out in the yard, and I'm burning it. No way. Watch, dude. No. We're done. I'm not playing. If you stay here, we're done. If you stay here, we're done. End of story. Get away from me. No, you just sat out there and had the best time of your life all sitting in a goddamn car. Are you serious, dude? I'll sit in a car while you're over there having fun. For real. Okay, but seriously, you're gonna Shut sit up. 
up and get out of my goddamn You're gonna bank. sit over there and have fun while I'm sitting in a <laughs> car. Stupid. What? Don't ever try to contact me again. You're a piece of Maybe you'll know who your next kids are. My life has been pretty stressful since Hazy was born, but things aren't all that bad for me right now because I started going out with a guy I used to be friends with, and even though it's new, I really like him. It's too hot for a black shirt. I'm too hot for you. That's up. <laughs> I have a new boyfriend. His name is Cody, and a couple weeks ago, like he asked me to go to the movies with him, and then ever since that night, really, we've just been a thing. We can play video games later at your house. We will definitely do that. He's really nice to me. He treats me better than I've probably been treated by any guy in my life. Unlike Jacob and Drew, no offense, but like, he has it together. Because Cody actually has a job and like, he has a car. And so I finally just feel like I'm living like a normal teenage life and not just like all this bull that I, that's been being thrown at me by all these guys. Have you been on a lot of dates? No guys really ask me on dates. They're not that nice. They just want to and lay around. Well, same. Well, I mean, oh, not same on you that You said end. well, same. Oh, my God. <laughs> not same on that end, but same on the first part. You know, like, when I took you to the movies, it was, like, the second or third time I've been on a real date. That was the first actual successful date, though. You know, like, that's something that she came from it. So. Fair enough. For sure that. So, is your mom watching Hazley? Yeah, she said she would until I got back to the house. Have you ever dated anyone with a baby? No. How do you feel about dating somebody with a baby? Well, Is I love being with you, so I'd say I love it. What's your plan in life? I don't have a plan in life to take care of my kid. Well, that's not a very good plan. What the do you mean it's not a very good plan? Like, yes, taking care of your kid, I get that, but you need to figure out you're going to have a job, you're going to go to college. Yep, I'm going to have a job. Where, Wendy's? <laughs> off. Do you want to go to college? No. Nope. I'm just trying to figure out what you're trying to plan with your life, Rachel, because your life's coming up fast. It's none of your business. It this really it is, though, because I'm your mom. Well, I haven't had your help my well, whole well, life, so why would I need you're it now? you're 18 years old, you're going to get your GD and you're going to get your license. I've been good without you my whole life. Why would I need you now? You're going to get I your don't. license. You're going to get Because Nana had your ass straight. You okay. were on cheerleading. You were I doing it. And I should have stayed that straight is what I should have done. <laughs> when did Dr. Tate tell you you were supposed to get the pill? As soon as I started my next period. You were already supposed to start this last week because I keep no. track of it. Well, you got to talk about it. So you're late. Mike, can you run to the store real quick? You're going to Dollar Tree and you're buying two pregnancy tests or three. Two or three. You just three. Said, when Jesus she screws Christ. up the first two, she can take a third one later on. This is a big damn deal. I cannot have another baby. Do not. No. No. I literally can't. Jaden, I'm one day late for my period. <laughs> yeah. <-ha. laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. -ha. I don't want to be dealing with this again. What do you see? Are you not even buckled in? She's not. She's just like free floating in the car scene. It's two for pregnant, Rachel, and one for not pregnant. I know. Like, you want to fill up that whole little circle of pee, okay? Oh, my God, do not tell me. Shut up. Shut up. No, don't tell me that, for real, please. <laughs> no! Yeah! Damn, I'm literally gonna cry. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. 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 I'm pregnant. I just took a test. What the f am I supposed to do? 
I'm literally flipping out. I don't know what to do. I literally already have a kid. She's like not even like what the. F <sighs> this is bull. I want to see how dark the lines are. Pretty dark, Rachel. It's not. Um, it's obvious. Like it's more common for there to be a false negative than for there to be a false positive. Because I knew you weren't being safe. I've asked you to get on birth control. I've asked you and asked you and asked you. Like, I literally feel like the dumbest bitch on this earth. I can't go through this again. I literally can't. I started bleeding last night, so I called my doctor this morning, and she told me to come in right away. Are you still bleeding at all? Yep, but really lightly, but it stopped last night, and then I woke up and it was bleeding again. Are y'all ready to go? Because we need to go. Yep. I'm right here with you. I, I mean, like, I know I didn't plan on getting pregnant with this baby, and I didn't really want it to happen, but I just have so much regret. I just want you to know there's nothing you did. It's just, unfortunately, the way life goes. What is it going to be like after the procedure? Like, is it going to hurt? Like, um, what's... It'll be a little bit crampy, but, um, and you'll have some light bleeding, but it shouldn't be anything heavy. It'll be just like we're doing an exam in the office. We'll put Jeff in stirrups, and we'll go in and just gently clean all that tissue out. Okay? okay. So you're just going to put me to sleep, and then... Yep, that's what we'll do. Can we'll I get birth control in. put in while I'm asleep? Well, I have your Skyla upstairs. Yeah. So okay. can you put that in while I'm asleep? Yes, ma'am. I can do that. They want to have you move to the waiting room, but I will come and find you as soon as I talk to the OR, okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. I was really hoping Drew would shape up for Hazley's sake, but one of Drew's friends texted me last night to say that he got arrested for drugs and running from the cops. I feel really disappointed that he got into this much trouble. I really hate that Hazley has to grow up seeing her father in and out of jail because like, I've seen that my whole life from my father. I hoped this time would be different, but I'm not surprised that Drew got in trouble again. Hey. Can I ever get away from you? I gotta tell you something. What? So you know how like Drew was talking about going to rehab the other day and like- Did he finally go? Um, they went to pull him over at night, I guess. Doesn't have a license or nothing, you know? So I guess it ran from them. Oh Lord, Rachel. What? They damn rolled the car and came within six feet of striking a house. Yeah, I know. People could have been hurt. He yeah. could have been hurt. He doesn't even really need Joe. Like, he needs rehab. Like, because he's not a bad dude. You know what I mean? He has knowledge Are you gonna go up there of the fact him? that he needs change. Um, probably sometime. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go put money on his books just because, like, I know he doesn't have nobody. So my thing is, why would you sit there and take care of him? He wouldn't. I'm not taking care of him, but I'm not going to let him sit there and starve. He can't change if nobody's helping him change like seriously if the i don't the only person that can help you change is yourself if no. you don't want to change yourself nobody's gonna come out I'm here and change you i'm seriously about to get pissed like seriously I'm, i don't want to have a dumb statement no the 
It's not, dude. When he goes to rehab, rehab's full of drugs. What okay, you gonna cool. do? I guess he's You anymore. have to decide to change yourself. You can't change nobody. Cool, then let him do that, but it's really none of your business what I do or what he does or what I'm doing for him or what he does for me. Okay. Because I'm 18 years old and at what the end of the day, I'm an adult and I'm your baby. That's and what me and you need my baby are straight. We always have been. Okay, because of who? Because of me. Okay. It's all you that does it. She's so damn stupid. I can't deal with her. It was good. I've been staying with my friend Caitlin for three weeks now. She started seeing someone, and I've decided to give dating apps a chance. We were on this dating app, and we were swiping through guys, and everybody was just like a no to me. And then I came across this one guy that I thought looked like pretty interesting. We hung out for the first time yesterday. It went so well. I'm seeing him again today. So why did you swipe right on me then? I went through your pictures and I saw you live only one mile away. Oh, uh, so you knew I was close and you're like, yep, she's close, I'm bored. <laughs> 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 that, that's actually kind of how it was. Like, I was, I was bored and I wanted a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Noah and I have only been dating for a month now. I know I need to be careful about bringing Hazley around new guys in my life, but he's already gotten really close to her. She's talking about you. It's bad enough that her dad Drew is locked up but when he was out, he barely came to see her. So it's nice knowing that right now, she has someone positive in her life. Are you sleepy? Okay, so about her birthday. Do you have work? Yeah, um, probably working. Now she's like obsessed with you. She would rather have you than me. I know, she likes me more than you. I know, literally at night, like after she eats dinner and we're gonna rock her to sleep, she always wants you. She's so obsessed with you and that's what worries me because like it's been a long time since she's been really like involved with somebody. Um, I've never been around babies before so it was kind of weird seeing a tiny human being like just around me. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Hazley's gotten really close to Noah, like really, really close. Like she just sees us being affectionate to each other so like she started calling him daddy. If Noah and Drew were in a room right now, like she would so go to Noah. She does not know Drew. I thought Noah and I were in agreement about our plans to move in together. But tonight he's coming over to drop off Hazley's things. Because yesterday we got into a huge fight. He got a random job offer to drive trucks to Michigan that starts right away. And he didn't even ask me and Hazley to come with him. Oh my God. A relationship, I swear to God, I will never put myself through this again. And that's so messed up because it's not even just me, it's my child too. Like, how are you gonna leave my kid like that too? So what were you and Noah talking about in the driveway? We broke up. You did? Yep. Why? He was going to go to Michigan to be a truck driver. Like, how are you just gonna up and go to Michigan and you expect me not to say nothing about that whenever literally we're trying to get a place together? Like, that was the game plan. So is that it for Noah? Like, are you ever gonna talk to him again if he tries? Are you completely done? He doesn't want me and I'm just gonna move on, but I'm not gonna move on to someone else. I'm just gonna be by myself because I just can't. I just always end up somehow picking some other that literally just does not care one bit at all. Like, I just, I do put myself through this, so I am the one to blame because, like, I could have definitely saved myself the heartbreak, but I just love too hard, like, you know? I feel back at square one. It's really so disappointing because I didn't want to be back in this position. Hazley's gotten really close to Noah. She always asks me where Noah is, if he's at work, and I know that she's going to tomorrow and just stuff like that, and it's really hard on me because it's like, you didn't only hurt me, you hurt my child too. There she goes, black smile can change that.